All right, a couple things I want to do first before we get into the awards. First of all, parents, we want to thank you guys for everything you've given us and trusted us in the last four years to educate your child and expect them to be a part of this community. And I hope they're going to continue to be a part of this community moving forward. Don't be a stranger. All right, come around and say hi to us. We want to make sure you're actually uh, doing what you need to do. Is that, okay, good. That's nice. Um, but thank you guys for trusting us and being a part of our community also as, as parents and, and, and doing what you need to do. Hopefully your kids have thanked you over and over again. If they haven't, they need to. And then they'll do that uh, appropriately. Second of all, I want to thank our teachers for this year. Um, I, you need to be publicly thanked because the work you have done is unreal. Absolutely. Thank you guys for doing that for them. I mean, I'm telling you, this has been a tremendous experience, but it also has shown some of the best in who we are and what we're about. And I just attribute that to our faculty and their dedication since day one. I ain't going to cry over that. All right, now. Um, we're going to call people up and, and recognize you for some of the accomplishments and the awards and the work that you've done over the past four years. So sit tight. A lot of you guys are going to be walking up here. Be careful walking up here. And then when you do come up here after you get award, you know you're going to get a picture taken. Michelle Gress has been everywhere in your four years, all right? So she's going to be here now, too. Here we go. The English Department of St. Thomas Aquinas High School is proud to present its 2021 award recognizing excellence in the study of English. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Lauren Miller. Journalism Department Award goes to Maria Gayu. This year's Spanish Award goes to Julia Paff. The French Award goes to Seth Philipson. And this year's German Award goes to Emma Cahill. For excellence in the math department, Jack Respier. Yeah. 
I'll be giving awards for practical arts department. First, for family and consumer science, uh, foods, advanced foods, interior design skills for living, Ellie Smith. Physical Education, Claire Ennis. <laughs> Drafting, Mitchell Farrar. And engineering, Grace O'Keefe. The award from the business department goes to two people this year, Caden Ames and Jake Chrisman. The Social Studies Department Award recognizes excellence in the field of history, government, and economics, as well as enthusiasm and contributions in class. This year, the department would like to honor Annie Hake. The science department has two awards for life science, Ben Ferguson. <laughs> and for physical science, Blake Wamsher. The Theology Award is for Academic Excellence in the Theology Classroom. The Senior Award goes to Abby Specken. This year's Instrumental Music Award goes to Hannah Parsons. The Vocal Music Award goes to Maddie Terrell.
And the Drama Award goes to Sarah Phillips. Debate in Forensics recognizes Maxwell Skinner. Art Department has two awards as well. 2D Art Award for Painting and Drawing goes to Michaela Beffert. And the 3D Art Award for Ceramics goes to Maddie Gaddy. The Senior Female Athlete of the Year goes to Caroline B. For volleyball and track and field. And our male athlete of the year goes to Tank Young. Wow, what a blessing, this community of saints. Seniors, you are a blessing in our world. Where else can you go and be surrounded by compassionate, empathetic, and caring souls? What a blessing to have a community with whom we can celebrate the joys, to celebrate our joys, and to run to for support in a time of crisis. Speaking of support in a time of crisis, did you know that 82% of women who aborted their children said they would not have done it if anyone, anyone, would have been their friend, walked with them, supported them, and loved them during their time of crisis? Yes, we need to fix our laws. We need to work to protect and to love both the mother and her baby. Thank goodness that we, who have been so richly blessed in this community, reach out as best we can, sometimes in small ways, to those who are literally dying for a share in what we have. Let's continue to reach out with this spirit of community, this compassion, and sharing God's love in our world. It's been a year. Our very creative leadership team, along with our faculty sponsors, Mrs. Loafman and Mr. Best, led our Teens for Life organization in prayer outside of the abortion clinics. We created our own virtual March for Life in DC. A group of students babysat an advice and aid pregnancy clinic so that new parents could get the support and love and education that they need. And we hosted our 31st annual Rosemary Maher Saints Walk for Life, raising money and awareness 
that life is a gift. This year, the Culture of Life Award, um, the Leadership Award goes to Rebecca Young, our president. Our Teens for Life Club was started by Rosemary Maher and has only had one other director, Mrs. Radio, for 18 years. And she has tirelessly promoted a culture of life here at STA and formed seniors like Rebecca Young and so many, 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 many more. We'd like to take a moment now and recognize Mrs. Radio for her hard work and dedication to the Teens for Life Club as she steps down as a director of Teens for Life. Please join me giving her a big round of applause and a huge thank you. She is very much a lifesaver. always have to follow that really good speech. Um, really quickly, I have been the moderator for Key Club for quite a while, and I've had some really dedicated and amazing members over the years, but I don't know if any of them matches the level of dedication of the winner of this year's award, Savannah Bentner. Good morning. On behalf of my fellow moderators, the calculating Mr. Jim Halling and grandmother-to-be Mrs. Serena Price, I am honored to recognize these executive student council officers. Student council at St. Thomas Aquinas is a pretty big deal. You might not know it, but in our school's 33 years, we have been privileged to entertain many talented leaders including some recent student council presidents, Natalie Cutney, Annie Lind, Jason Frederick, Isabel Kemp, Elizabeth McCormick, Devin Diggs, Gabe Kraft, Gabe Kraft, <laughs> and Mr. Ben Ferguson. The year that's been is almost behind us. The winter that has chased us for so long has given up. The virus is cowering. Summer is close. And the fall, we pray, will return us to normal. We have made history together. We can only guess what the year would hold as last year's seniors waved goodbye on their Zoom screens. But these four set an example that will stand as a testament to the spirit and community of St. Thomas Aquinas High School for many years to come. In our difficulties, they said, we'll find a way. Pre-recorded speeches, hybrid schedules, social distancing, we'll find a way. Homecoming hallway and tents, assembly in the stadium, we'll find a way. Canned food drive, giving the basics, Spring Olympics, We'll find a way. And isn't that what life is all about? It's not what happens to you, but it's how you respond to it that matters most. In the dreary and the dull and the difficult and the dangerous, we'll find a way. It's because God is faithful and we are hopeful like the spring that surrounds us today. Life bursting forth, racing to catch up with the change in the year. Listen to this poem 
by Ada Limon, titled Instructions for Not Giving Up. It's the greening of the trees that really gets to me when all the shock of white and taffy, the world's baubles and trinkets, leave the pavement strewn with the confetti of aftermath, the leaves come. Patient, plotting, a green skin growing over whatever winter did to us. A return to the strange idea of continuous living, despite the mess of us, the hurt, the empty. Fine then, I'll take it, the tree seems to say, a new slick leaf unfurling like a fist to an open palm. I'll take it all. And so will we. We'll take it. The seasons change and the future opens up to us. The masks fall away and we live as we were meant to, on the outside showing off like the flowering trees. Life finds a way. Us too, we shout, arms raised, pointing forward. We'll find a way. We'll find a way. Congratulations, Gabby, Maria, Timmy, and Ben. Thank you for encouraging all of us with your inspiring, optimistic response to history. Hey, senior, stand real quick so you can like photobomb them. Look, Ben, Ben, right here, angle me. Seriously, stand up. Just go stand up. Do what Michelle Gress wants, all right? for you too. Roses are red, violets are blue. We still have three more awards for you. <laughs> I had to go somewhere with that. Thank you. I haven't read a poem probably since I was your age, so I had to like go with that. Anyway, we have three special awards that are named after our uh, first three presidents at St. Thomas Aquinas High School. Our founder, Blake Mulvaney, and the first principal, and then second president, Sister Kathleen Condry, and of course, our one and only Dr. Ford. Um, we're going to recognize two seniors, one girl, one boy, for each of these awards based on the characteristics that these fine presidents were a part of our community. So the Sister Kathleen Condry Faith and Friendship Award, the girl goes to Rebecca Young. And the gentleman for this one is Joey LaBella. Now together. The next award is the Blake Mulvaney Leadership in S Blake Mulvaney Leadership and Service Award. The young lady is Maria Palazuelos. <laughs> and just so Mr. Moss feels really short again, the gentleman is Ben Ferguson. <laughs> Last award is the William P. Ford Spirit of Community Award. This is given to someone who may not always stand out totally in the crowd when it comes to bringing our community to better, but they do their job and they bring people together anyway. 
And our female award winner is Tammy Akinwin. Akinwinton. Akinwinton. I could say Akinwinton. I really can. The gentleman not only brought our community better, but reached virtually out to other areas of our community and brought families together for different events through the HALO program. So our male recipient is Michael Payne. Yeah.